Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to finally make a video here and give you a little bit of an update. I'm still at the same place here at Rude Creek Campground. <coughs> and I am probably going to lose my entire one week uh, delay on my videos while here because I am I'm not just, I am so sick, guys. In fact, since I've been on YouTube now nearly four years, I've never been this physically sick. I don't know, I don't have a temperature, but my head, my chest, my stomach, I can't sleep at night, my lower back, there's, there is literally no sleeping position that I can get any sleep in at all. I'm just in constant pain and I'm feeling miserable. But uh, it's fine, I'm just going to stay here for possibly up to a week <coughs> and try to get better. I've been drinking lots of water, lots of medicine. I've got my sepical throat lo lozenges that numb it down here and stuff. And uh, just kind of stay away from people. That's the plan. Don't get anybody else sick because I don't know what's going on. I just know I'm really, really unhappy and I'm really sick and it's no fun. So go inside and do some interior stuff because it's raining right now. And uh, maybe cook up some good food and keep drinking water. Actually, while it's raining and my back has stopped hurting like it did when I tried to wake up this morning, I'm going to take a nap. Jax, you want to take a nap? Let's try to get a couple hours of good sleep, and then I'll wake up and drink some more water. able to fall asleep just toss and turn for an hour I don't know I'm pretty sure the back pain has something directly to do or it's amplified by the fact that I have the cold pretty sure no biggie so this will be kind of a different video because we are definitely just gonna be doing some indoor stuff um, ironically with the rain it's tricky because uh, because I'm getting absolutely no solar that means I have to run the generator I have no choice um, so I had to run the generator and I, and I need to really recharge my batteries because all of my activities are going to be indoors. So to give you an idea, you know, me living alone on a rainy day like this with no solar, running the generator, I have to run it for an hour in the morning after I percolate my coffee and then I need to run it for another two hours at night, basically within four hours of going to bed in order to be able to use the normal stuff as far as the lighting I need. Uh, the TV to watch TV movies play video games and stuff like that again because I'm not really able to go play outside or do anything outside all my activities are indoors uh, charging the laptop and stuff so that's just the way it works I know it's kind of back it's backwards in a lot of ways because you would think on a day where you don't want solar you'd want to conserve but you can't I mean you could just read a book with a little bit of light but eh, why do that? I'm going to make some lunch slash dinner. Uh, you guys got any awesome Thanksgiving turkey plans? Probably. Not me. I usually don't do much. I mean, I've spent every Thanksgiving and Christmas out on the road way away from my friends and family back home in Washington State. So, you know, actually, I'll show you what's going on here. This is a turkey. This is a, I think a nine pound turkey right here. And today I'll be taking that out, putting it in the fridge to thaw that out. I am going to bake a turkey again here in my RV oven here for Thanksgiving, probably for Jackson and I. But I got one of these Stouffer meatloafy things. 
And yeah, I could microwave this if I wanted to, it'd be a lot quicker. But believe it or not, this these kind of meals taste way better in the oven. It takes 65 minutes of cook time after the oven's preheated. And I know that's a really long time, but here's another way to think of it. Uh, since it's raining and a little bit cold here, which I don't mind at all, uh, it's down to 62 degrees outside for a high today. So that's a great time to fire up the oven. And then although I will turn the vent on, believe it or not, just having the oven on for an hour is going to be a natural, unsafe way to heat the RV. But I'm venting all the fumes, so it's, it's no problem. I have not yet replaced my crock pot from when I did the uh, toilet work. Uh, in the RV. I do want to replace my crock pot, but I got to searching online for some more easy, quick uh, crock pot stuff because when you're getting solar, that's a great way. And I actually found a new channel I was going to share with you guys uh, the Family Fudge here. And actually, the one that popped up was Mississippi Pork Roast in the slow cooker, but there's a bunch of stuff on there that's like budget friendly and some of it's geared towards more bigger groups of people eating and stuff like that. But how does that translate to me in an RV? Well, you know, I'm going to cook it once clean up once and then I'm going to freeze it or refrigerate it, the leftovers so that I can have lunch the next day, dinner two days from then. So uh, if you guys want to check out that channel, I'll put a link in the video description below and I, I might be doing more of these as far as just feature highlights, shout out type channels and stuff that I find interesting that has nothing to do with RV. That's right. I actually do watch lots of YouTube that has nothing to do with RV. Nothing against my RV and friends out there. I love to follow you guys. But I'm already doing the same thing, so sometimes I do get a little burnt out on the road watching people do the exact same stuff that I'm doing. So it's nice to be able to change things up a little bit and watch something new. So let's check out the Family Fudge. All right, now about 65 minutes. My meatloaf should be good. I'm going to boil some water and get some instant mashed potatoes going and uh, uh, heat up some corn. So cool. But because I'm going to be doing indoor activities today in the rain, I'm going to fire at the generator right now and uh, charge some batteries. All right, now I will also just mention for charging the batteries here in the RV when the generator is running, this is my speed charger here. Okay, so it's essentially plugged into an outlet that is being run off my generator. And the reason why I do that is because the onboard RV inverter converter down there is only going to trickle charge that battery. So people get to thinking, oh, my battery's dead. Let's fire up the generator and let the onboard stuff charge it. Well, it's literally going to send like one or two amps. And you're not even going to cover what you're physically using in lights and other things in the RV while you're doing that. So in order to boost the batteries up to a level that's maintainable, you really want a speed charger. And in this case, 25 amps is as high as I would ever go for deep cycle AGM batteries. This smart controller allows me to select the type of battery I have and the amp. I can select 2, 10, or 25. And 25 seems to work for two hours really well for me. As you can see, running at five minutes already, it's reading 13.1, which is not a true reading. Uh, if you're using a speed charger and charging your batteries, that's just the voltage that it's saying right now while it's under load. If I were to turn the charger off right now, this would drop back down to 12.6 or so. But anyway, once this reads about 13.7, that's when I know my battery really is 12.6. Checks, man. That was actually a really brilliant move of me to, to move his Mariner fleece blanket there over to next to my pillow because he always goes to that blanket no matter where it's at. So now he always comes to bed when I go to bed now. And yes, that Mariner fleece blanket there was the blanket that he and his brothers and sisters were born on in 2010. Let's see, just to give you an idea for some of my indoor activities, uh, PS2. Uh, I got all the Guitar Hero games except one, so I'll do that. I've got my EverDrive 64 in the Nintendo 64 so that I can play all of my favorite Nintendo 64 games. And ironically here, out in the middle of nowhere, I'm, the closest city is Lumpkin, Georgia, but uh, I've got 22 free over-the-air digital TV stations, including all the major networks and Escape TV and Me TV, Classic Movie TV, so plenty of entertainment on the TV. And if I get bored of that, since I have Wi-Fi out here, I can always do some Netflix, and uh, I just started season two of Stranger Things. If you guys, if you guys do not watch this show, you should. It's a fantastic, fantastic, weird drama, sci-fi, really cool show. I highly recommend that. There's uh, two seasons available now on Netflix. 
outside it's still raining, but I really like the, the crispness in the air. It seems to unclog my nasal congestion and stuff. Uh, tomorrow, 70 degrees and sunshine. So, just gotta make it through this. And we're gonna make it through this by staying inside. There we go. How's that look, everybody? Yum, yum. Didn't need to make any gravy because I got the gravy from the meatloaf packet. Woo! Now, if this don't make me feel better, I don't know what will. Good food. So, you can hear the generator. It's right under this seat outside. It's not really inconvenient as far as the sound, but you can definitely hear it, and it definitely changes the mood of nature. But I don't feel that it, I mean, there's no way around it. I want to watch TV. I want to stay comfortable inside the RV. I mean, Christmas lights, that's non-negotiable. Got to have those up. Yes, even before Thanksgiving. Don't care. I forgot my milk. Okay, so um, after I eat, I'll put the leftovers in a container, put them in the fridge. I got two more meals, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. When I get to a place where I don't have unlimited water and power to clean dishes, paper products are great. I can just throw away the TV dinner tray type stuff and keep washing dishes down to an absolute minimum. Mm, that is fantastic. Wow. Just banging them out. Have a good night, guys.